Hi, this is Karen. I'm with InspiredByGram.com, and today I'm bringing you this card we'll be making with the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to make it into a birthday card, and we're going to put some softer colored ribbon, and we'll be using the Organdy Striped Ribbon, which is here. It comes in a petal pink color. Um, but before that, I want to encourage you to head over to my blog, InspiredByGram.com, to sign up to be on my email list because I have a uh, card club going on right now. It's the April Card Club, and I am featuring the Path of Petals stamp set, and a lot of these encouraging um, and thinking of you sentiments. The cards that you would get to make, you'd get to make two of each of these designs. This one here is a really sweet, fun fold card using the very beautiful Parisian Bloom Specialty Designer Series paper. This one here is the best wishes on your joyful day and um, you would receive these punch outs here in petal pink and um, whisper white. And this one is really fun too. It's a three panel card here, kindness card, using the ribbon that we'll be using today. And here's a strength and um, peace card using pool party. So again, please head over to my blog, inspiredbygram.com and sign up to be my email list. This class expires. The last day you can sign up for it is April 15th. All right, so let's get started on creating this card. We'll just slide it over here. And today I'm using the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper. I'm using uh, petal pink. I've got a whisper white on the inside and on our card base here it is cut eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter and this is mossy meadow. I've got a piece of petal pink which is four by five and a quarter and I've cut this designer series paper. It was the same pattern but I'm just flipping it over and it's cut um, three and a three and three quarters by five and then just cut down in half at two and a half. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to layer this on our card. Let me just grab my snail. And I put the green on the bottom to represent more of a like grass or a meadow. And so we're just gonna put this down with a quarter of an inch border on the left, right and bottom. And then we're going to put adhesive on the green side, and this goes on the top. And just look at your flower pattern to see which way you want it to go, and I want mine to go this way. Okay, and now we're going to bring in that petal pink organdy ribbon. I've got a piece here that actually was for another project, but it actually works really well. Let me grab my ribbon scissors here, and I'm just measuring the, the ribbon long enough so I can wrap it around the back side. And let me just bring my scotch tape in here. And I've got some ready to go. Just lay this down here. I'm not going to uh, put a knot bow on it this time. I'm just going to use a very small amount of ribbon just to put in, in over that separation there of those two cards. We're just gonna change this card up just a little bit. Okay, so now this piece is going to go on to your Mossy Meadow card base. And we'll just put an adhesive on all four sides and make sure you put it right over that ribbon there. And I just like to put a little bit extra in the middle. Make sure your patterns are going the correct way and we're just gonna put it right back on there. Okay, so now let's put, um, See, we need our card base because we're going to change this up just a little bit as well. And I need my silicone craft mat because I do not want to um, put adhesive on my paper. All right, so I think I'm going to go um, with the flower pattern up. And I'm just kind of looking at it. And I'm just going to put a little bit of space, a quarter of an inch down here. I don't know, I'm probably up way off camera, so let me try that again. So just a little bit of that whisper white along the bottom so it's showing. And now I'm just going to add some adhesive to the top side. Save your adhesive because that's all you need is just a little bit on the top. That way it kind of is like a flowing kind of card there. All right, so that's there. Now let's bring in our dies. These are from the so, so Stitch 
so sweetly dies. They are on back order right now, but they should be coming in soon. I've got my Mossy Meadow ink. I need my piercing mat because we're working with the photopolymer. All right, and I'm going to put this sentiment here. What a beautiful difference one single life makes. That comes from the, oh, where is it? The stamp set. It's the Tulip stamp set. I'm not sure where that is right now. Um, but actually, I've got it. I'm sorry about that. It's the Timeless Tulip stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set. So it looks like this. And we're just going to ink that up with Mossy Meadow ink. Hopefully, you can get this straight on camera. Uh, not too bad. Okay. And then on the inside panel, let's um, stamp happy birthday. Okay, very simple card here. All right, so now what we're going to do is we'll let's close up this ink pad here. And we're going to adhere this panel here. And we're going to, it's going to go right here. I'm going to put it more towards the middle. I'm going to flip it over and just press from the back side. I'm going to get my Stampin' Dimensionals out. And I'm going to put um, four of them on here. And I want to make sure I leave a space there for that ribbon. I'll just put some down here. Should be good enough. And just release the backings by pressing your fingernail into the middle of the dimensionals and they should peel off very quickly. One more there. Okay, so now let's put this right on here in the middle. There's a number of ways that you can jazz this card up. You can leave it as is if you wanted to, um, but I'm going to take out the um, so, um, the sequins that we have, and they come in um, Petal Pink, Mint Macaron, um, Whisper White, and there's another color in there. I can't remember what it looks like, but it's kind of like an iridescent color. I'm gonna. Use my take your pick tool. I'm just going to take some of these sequins and I'm just going to sprinkle them in different colors throughout the card, like two on the bottom. Let's grab one of those petal pink ones and just put it up here. And I think I might want to put um, two more on here. So let's grab a white. Let's put one right up here in that white space there. And then we'll add one more of these here. Let's do two up here. Okay, so we've got them sprinkled on our card. Um, very quick, easy card, again, that you can mass produce. All right, so like I said, I encourage you to head over to my website, inspiredbygram.com, and sign up for your email on my email list. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.